welcome back to Game Devs Play Games. Um, we are about to do the boss <laughs> fight in Hyperlight Drifter. Well, first I have to stop sitting down. Man, you're one right. sexy sitter. Boom, look at that. All right, so there's stuff on the side, and we can do things and stuff like that. But I've got a potion, so let's just, let's, yeah, let's just go fight. Well, let's, just, let's just do we're it. We're just going to go fight Frogman. Oh. It's not like you said we're gonna go fight fuck me. <laughs> Frogman. 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 Fuck me. It's all the same thing. And here we go. Whoa. Oh. oh. Those poor little goat people. Uh, Seriously. Dude, that's like me when I wake up in the morning. So he's got some uh some different attack oh Holy. different attacks and stuff. Hell. It's not easy being part green, huh? Dude, what? Part green. I, I mean, yeah, okay, I guess. Hey man, I'll make these puns stretch as far as I can. Boom! Bomb! They're bo oh, oh, he stepped people. I'll do that bomb. I mean, it, it hurt those other guys pretty well. That was pretty good. Yeah, it didn't do as much as I was expecting. Yeah, but yeah. then again, I guess it was because it's more about AoE. So, interesting thing about when he throws those, mm -hmm. um, he actually doesn't just throw them where you were previously at. Oh, God. And then I die. Uh, See, when he smashes you, he'll push you back, and then you fall off the ledge really? and take even more damage. That's, it's pretty insane. That's a pretty tough uh, so combination. So, he'll throw them where you're at. Like yeah. The first one he'll throw when you're at, and when you dash, then he'll throw the next one at where he thinks you're going to be. Oh, I see. See, look at that. That's actually kind of uh, cool. I mean, it's annoying. It's, yeah, it, it adds uh, more challenge to the situation, though. Look at, look at that ribbit rabbit. Look at that, look at, look, look at that froggy. Oh, I missed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Whoop, ah, well, I guess I missed. So like he'll spit those things out, and then you can hit them and explode oh, yeah, them. This on is him. this is. But but it, unlike a lot of things that I hate about boss fights, it's not mandatory for that to happen. You can still just you know beat him. Yeah, which is kind of like you have to wait for him to fall. Yeah. But if he does fall, you just have more chance to like f him up. Oh, dude! I just got lucky that time. You got super. Who cares? Take advantage of that crap. Oh! I nice got a gun. You don't got a gun, and then your guts oh, spilled his out. His guts just. I feel like the goat man should have spilled out. <laughs> <laughs> just a bunch of goats fly out of him. Oh, Money. Nice. You're gonna get full cred here. And if I hadn't spent two already getting getting the um, the, grenade, the grenade, then I could actually get like a real good upgrade. Which I'm not saying the grenade's like terrible or anything, but the but ability for infinite dodge or while you're oh, dodging God. you can't be shot by bullets or Damn. you know, charged Look at that. Just press the play button. It looks like a play button. It does it looks like a play button. So a little it's, bit like a play button. What, what's it playing? It's playing this. I don't like this movie. No. Wow. Boom. And there's four of those. Bong. They like Bong. the number four. Bong. Bong. Nope, you're early. Whatever, man. I have to listen to your riff riff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm too cool for this. So, uh, that was the first boss. It was the first boss. We still have a lot of time. You you may sound like you're gonna die a lot more. And I uh, was expecting that it would. Oh, cool. There's other things I get to do. Like I have a shotgun now. Oh, uh, what? Your yep. shotgun's where it's at. It, it actually, it is where it's at. I feel like in most games, when you get the option for a shotgun, you're like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take that. Cause uh, why would I not want to feel incredibly powerful? <laughs> yeah, right. And uh, just always hit things. I love that noise when he lifts something out of the ground. And I hit the ads like. I like that he pulls it up and then turns it. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Uh. Wouldn't uh. that be funny if I fell off? Like, because I was already in the animation of moving. Oh, great. Oh. Did he and that's the end of the game, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for playing. <laughs> so it's showing the animations all over again. Mm hmm. Well, a couple of them. The hell? It's weird that it happened there. 
You don't so have I to couldn't, like, bars? see myself. Yeah. 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 Like, it's, it's all good. You know, whatever. Um, let's see, this was a s thing. Just all little secrets. Money, 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 money! Money! Um, hippocampus. Hippocampa. I did that thing. Are you gonna go back to the town? I am. To go look at the tower we just erected? Yes. That is what is going to happen here. I wish I had enough to get the dodge thing so I could do, like, okay, so I'll, I'll just explain it when we, when I uh, go there. But there's um, different outfits you can get. Oh, really? I don't think I have uh, gotten any of them. Uh, but you can. Let's turn the lights on. Whoop. Yeah, there's, you, like, each one of these is a module to change something. Oh. So, like, this will change, I believe, your, um, this changes your companion. <laughs> and then this will change your sword color. And then this will change your outfit color. And so you can switch it up and, and like, make it look now, different. Since you backed it, shouldn't you have the option for that one special companion already? Or do you have to buy it? For so? some reason, that hasn't been exactly working. I'm not... I, oh. yeah, I had a little oh. difficulty with it. I messaged them, and they're like, I'm not really sure what's going on exactly. It should be working. And I was like, it's not a big deal. It's... it's All it is is, like, it's like a little gold sword and a companion... Or supposed to be, like, a gold gun, they said, in a companion, but... I don't even know where you would change the color of your gun, so it must be automatic. Yeah, maybe. I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm not it really have any like beneficial. No, no, it's purely aesthetic. Uh, no, I don't like. I actually don't like when games give you a beneficial tool for backing them. I hate it actually because it does two things to you mentally. Number one, you have to uh, you, you have this new thing that is more powerful that nobody else has, or only other backers and right. stuff have, or whatever the case is. So. You use it, and then you feel like you're cheapening the game, or you don't use it, and then that effect goes to waste. So now you're in a bad situation. You don't know, like, mentally, you don't know what you, to do. You don't know if you, you do you wait? It's, yeah. It's weird. It, it is weird. And so, personally, I don't ever like it when I get extra things. So this is interesting. This whole area, like, you'll notice the other upgrade areas didn't have yeah. anything like this. And so this is a room for you to dash around in. Once you get the infinite dodge, uh -huh. how it works is if you time it right, you will continue to dash very quickly. Oh. And so if you do it a hundred times in a row, because the room will count, uh, if you do it a hundred times in a row, that left door up there will unlock and you'll get like a little, um, like another partial money. Oh, that's but super then cool. if you do it 800 times in a row, you uh, will unlock another outfit up from the upper right, like Dude, a blue outfit. We should just spend a whole series just having well, people watch you dash around. Here's the thing: is dashing around the room is actually really like dashing itself, not the hard part. The hard part is not running into the walls, because if you touch a wall, then you smack against the wall and everything. It's it's actually really hard to pull off. And then you learn, oh man, I'll just dash back and forth left and right here, and that'll be fine. And then I got easily to like 400 or whatever with that. And then I realized, oh, if I just switch to the keyboard mouse setting, put the mouse like just like in the middle, like right here or whatever, and then just hit the space bar over and over again to dash, I'll just dash back and forth. You did it? And I did it. And like literally first try. I got like a 1200. Jeez. When then I got bored and stopped. Like, well, yeah, because like, it's like if, there's, if you can't get anything past 800, what's the point? Yeah. So it was, it, that if you're wondering how to pull that off, that is how you would pull that off. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. And we're back. What's up? So we disappeared for a minute there. <laughs> Technical, Technical difficulties. difficulties kind stuff. of on, yep. kind of on my end, kind of. Whatever, it's fine. I blame Chris. Um. So anyway, um, that's basically it. We got through that first boss. Uh, we got we unlocked some stuff, and saved some peeps, and uh, did some shit. Look at this guy just chilling out, smoking. Yeah, right. He's a cool dude. Smoking some green stuff. And I don't mean like this stuff is green. I mean the smoke. The smoke is green, the smoke yeah. smoke is green. That's... Um, so question of the day. Oh, I need all the keys. You need a lot of keys. Yeah. Um, this being the end of Hyperlight Drifter, what's the question of the day? Um, How do you drift in Hyperlight? I guess overall, let's just talk about how the... the, the 
theming of this game works with its mechanics? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, it has that strange weird feel to it, like, right, even the music playing right yeah. now has that, that feel, that weird, like, mysterious feeling to it. And the character that we know virtually nothing about other than he's sick or possessed by something or has a curse or something like that. Something going on. He also is a bona fide badass. Uh, Bona fide. He can he can cut with his sword. He can he knows how to shoot like any gun he gets his hands on, and he can dash, and teleport. And he's kind of awesome, Mm -hmm. right? So. That being said, with this theme, with this world, with this mystery that we know virtually nothing about, pow, that's a shotgun, by the way. That's yeah, cool. Right? Um, I guess, ultimately, how how do you feel about th- this game's mechanics with its theming? Mm, do you enough. feel like they built enough th- narrative through its mechanics, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? Well, just overall opinions, ultimately. Yeah, that sounds good, man. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching us play some Hyperlight Drifter. If you want to see more... Please just vote on the side here. Vote. It's right above, um, above right now. the side. At yep. this exact moment. Yep. And uh, make sure to uh, to to vote. <laughs> Yo, let us know if you want to play. Yeah. Stuff. Uh, so yeah, like and comment too, because we will definitely talk to you guys about the game. Yep. We will see you in the next series. I will end this with a teleport off. Goodbye, everybody. Godspeed. <laughs>